Hey, Monte. Um, how tough have the last few weeks been seeing guys go down and not being able to contribute yourself? And then how good did it feel to finally get out there and be able to, to, be, to add to, to what you guys are building? I mean, it was tough. Uh, you know, especially on my end, I ain't never really been hurt. So just having to deal with all these uh, injuries and just uh, battles, it was tough. You know, just going home and just knowing how much work you put into it this season and playing every game, just a little hiccups happening. Then you see your, uh, you know, your best friends go down with injuries too. So, you know, it's just up. But, you know, like Coach always say, you know, guys that stepped up and um, we kept winning. So, you know, you got to be happy about that. So, this season definitely been uh, tough. Brian Blackburn. Hey, Monte, I know it's been tough to, to be sitting out lately, but Faku has really stepped up of late, especially just, just filling in the gap at that starting role. Uh, do, do you care whether whether you're starting or coming off the bench going into the playoffs? And it, has his play just really helped make that a non-question here? I mean, I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not the, you know, I'm not the coach or, you know, I'm just going to win games or whatever. You know, they feel like it's best. You know, I'm going to come in and do me so. Um, yeah, he's been playing amazing, um, leading the group and getting big wins and, you know, also playing great on both ends. So, I mean, whatever direction, you know, they're leaning towards, I'm just going to be the best version of myself. And you know, I don't get paid to coach and make rotations. You know, I get paid to, you know, play the best version of myself. So that's what I'm going to do. Ashley Neville. Hey, Monte, good to see you. Um, hey. Despite all the injuries, you know, the Nuggets have still been pulling out on um, some great quality wins. What have you been most impressed with watching from the sidelines? Uh, you know, just, just some guys go down, just, you know, how quick guys can pick up, you know, our schemes, guys like Shaq, Austin, you know, those guys, they really um, learned, learned the scheme and our game, game plan, uh, discipline and playbook so fast. So it just made the transition better. So just our resilience, just the, you know, adversity here we, seeing always battle back and uh, make big plays at the big play. So I think that just shows what type of character, you know, every guy um, that's been playing out there, you know, has. So I was just happy to see that. And we just didn't really fold. You know, we was able to clinch home court advantage tonight. So I think that was big also. Leonardo Torres. Hey, Monte, it's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Monte, what are your thoughts on the offensive performance from the team tonight? I mean, the team finished with 49.9% shooting from the field. It was a good offensive effort from tonight. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of guys that can fit in the basket. So, you know, um, you know that's what we kind of think going into games. You know, if we run our offense and everything the right way, it's, it's hard for teams to, to stop us. So going into it, we just knew, you know, just run them. Just run our offense. We knew what type of shots we was going to get. They give up the most corner threes in the NBA. So we knew if we got everybody to sink to a paint, we had a great work. So that's what we did. Brandon Crystal. Monte, how do you balance wanting to ramp up your playing time with kind of keeping it tempered, knowing that the, you know, being ready to go 100% for the playoffs is really the goal, but especially because there's probably going to be some more minutes to be had here in these final three games? Thing. I mean, I've been, I've been, you know, working, working my tail off. So, I mean, tonight it felt good to just get out there with my time and just know everything was still there. My game still feel there. My shot feel good. Um, so, I know these last three games we already clinched. So, I'm gonna just use these to, you know, get rhythm. I'll probably be at like 10 to 15 minutes next three games or so. But yeah, these games really don't matter. You know, I played at the you know, high level in the playoffs the last two years. So I know what to expect. And I'm just ready, you know, for that time to come. Because those games that, you know, that really matter. So if I'm, if I'm healthy, I just got to trust this process over these next three games and, you know, cheer the guys on. And, you know, just when I get my time, just go out there and do that. But, yeah, uh, playoffs is my main focus. So. Mike Singer. Hey, Monte, have you been at all surprised or, or just overly impressed with the way that Mike has risen to the occasion uh, after Jamal went down and really just filled that, that role of the number two option? Uh, I mean, Mike, I mean, we, we see it every day. Y'all you know, really don't see like the behind the scenes stuff, but uh, 
you know, he's been a head, you know, heck of a talent since high school, you know, and, you know, he's a guy who battled so many injuries and, you know, he'll tell you, you know, he ain't even 100% healthy when he's putting up these numbers. So, um, I knew a talent he always had, you know, it's just, it's his time to step up, you know, with Jamal going down and other guys also. So, that's just how this business go. You know, um, sometimes you don't get to show everything because we're so deep. And, you know, once you get your chance, you know, how you see it. So, I always knew he was capable of doing that at a high level. You know, it's just his time. And, you know, he's showing the world. Esteban Abed. Coach, Hi, Monte. It's great to see you back again in action. Uh, we, when you was out of these uh, these weeks, uh, how important was for you to see your teammates uh, win a lot of game, so to not pressure your your recovery of this injury. It was good, you know, that I was able to just heal and not try to have to rush back if we wouldn't, you know getting the job done and the offense and stuff wasn't flowing right. But, you know, guys, you know, guys stepped up, you know, they're happy to see that, uh, and, you know, all these games, you know, we try to imitate, get better, but us to win games like that against, you know, stiff opponents and execute down the stretch, you know, no matter what guys is in there, it's really just getting us ready for the postseason because we know how, you know, how detrimental those possessions are and, you, you know, you need them. So for us to execute late, I think that's been the most impressive, uh, thing for me just seeing how we execute late because you know that that definitely matters because a lot of teams can't you know seem to do that down the strip so give credit to our coaching staff you know one through 15 you know on the roster all right that'll do it thank you monte sure. cool.